Hello, my name is Arielle Leslie. I am a recent PhD graduate from the University of Texas at Arlington. My research area is, or was, in computational neuroscience under the big umbrella of applied mathematics or biomathematics. Um, I did mathematical modeling of a specific type of epilepsy. Um, I am currently an analyst for a company in Texas and today I will do my best to explain the STAR method. So the STAR method, which stands for situation, task, action, and result, is a method that is commonly used to answer complex or even simple interview questions. It is often a mental outline for yourself in order for you to appropriately answer the question and not leave the interviewer wanting more. And to highlight your skills and assets that you have learned along the way um, in maybe in academia or any other industry position. For example, um, let's say the question is, when was there a time that you worked in a group setting and you, there was a issue that popped up within the group and maybe that issue was a person? Um, how did you work through that um, situation. So uh, an answer that you could give to that interviewer would be, I recently completed a summer program in an organization at a local school and we worked on a project that was closely aligned with a business within the city looking for a result um, in order to really um, actively use their business analytics that they had received from whatever um, ploy they used on their um, demographic. And so um, within our group, we dissected this very large question that was given to us from the company down to small sections in order to answer the large question. Um, so within the small sections, we assign task per person. One person decided or stated that their task was not very feasible for them and I took it upon myself to speak with them about why that task or why they felt that task was not feasible for them or their skill set and I decided well it's feasible for mine I will swap my task for your task and we can work together so that both of us are learning more skill sets along the way and so that we can actually complete this project in a timely manner and in result, it worked. So we were able to give good feedback to the local business and in turn, each person in the group um, learned new skills and we navigated through group politics. So I gave a situation, I was at a um, local uh, program where I was almost like bridging my degree to what would happen in the real business world um, I stated the task of us wanting to complete certain sections or certain projects um, and the issue popping up about another group member not being able to complete their part. The action was that I decided that I would swap um, my task with their task. And then fourthly, as a result, we were able to answer the large question. One key thing is to remember in an interview, it, it may be hard for some of us is to talk about yourself. They really want to know about your skills, your assets that you have learned and acquired over time. Um, it's okay to state that you did things in a group setting, but be more specific about what you did.